Welcome, here's his hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today I'm going to show you my arcade build that I've been working on. Uh, instead of using emulation station this time, I'm actually using attract mode. Uh, and within attract mode, I'm using hyperspin themes. Um, so let me just get right into it and, and show you what it looks like. So I've done a startup video. I just think this is funny. It's it's just from a classic episode of The Simpsons. Uh, so I like that intro video. I thought it was good. Um, so basically right now, I'll just keep scrolling. It's all one wheel. Uh, it's the same wheel. I've only put 250 games um, because I don't need thousands. Um, I've just taken all my favorites and then put some that I may like uh, that look interesting to me. Um, I've added the wheel art, the videos, the ROMs. And then with your ROMs, the CHDs. So to run this, uh, unlike my emulation station build, I am running this directly with the main EXE, the actual main program. Um, I'm, I may add Final Burn Alpha, uh, which I'll run through Final Burn Alpha as well. I use main and Final Burn Alpha um, for my builds, uh, just because I like to use the actual programs as opposed to RetroArch, uh, RetroArch. <laughs> Uh, RetroArch I like to use for all my consoles because it's a nice clean setup. RetroArch controls Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Master System, Turbo Graphics. I mean all the way through, the handhelds, everything, right? So RetroArch is great if you want to do a, a console-based build, which is something I'm working on within a track mode next. So if you guys know from my previous video, I did the emulation station build um, for you guys. And it's, I believe, about... 14 gigs something like that um, now if I were to use a different theme uh, the Tronky Fran theme is really great for emulation station that's one I would recommend if you just want to use um, images instead of snaps because that will really keep your size down uh, with this build this is a track mode using hyperspin themes so this is my main menu um, and right now I have arcade classics so in the future um, I'm going to be doing a, a fighting games wheel. Um, I'm, I may do Final Burn Alpha. Uh, I'll do a wheel for that. And, you know, sports games, because I've got Blitz on here, Blitz 2K, stuff like that. Uh, shoot 'em ups, you know, platforms, all that kind of, all that kind of stuff. Uh, just separate my games so they're easier to find. But the reason why, uh, one of the reasons why I have only 250 games is so that you could scroll through this one wheel if you wanted to um, and it wouldn't be that bad to pick to pick now you can see each game has its own theme um, and these weren't created by me uh, I found a whole bunch online um, and and I found all the ones that I needed for the games that I'm gonna play so uh, and one thing that I would recommend separating uh, if you're ever getting into if you have like trackball games that you like and you want it you have a trackball on your arcade setup um, make it in it in it in its own in its own uh, folder like not folder but its own wheel and then you know that you'll be using your trackball for those games same with your light gun games if you want to do that um, that's that's just my recommendation that's how I'm gonna complete this build um, this is still a work in progress I've only got 10 more of the um, of these actual game themes there's ten of them that I want to modify some of the artwork is a little out of place so for this I would like Scorpion to be a little lower on the screen um, that's just me I may leave it just because I, I kinda like the uh, the arrow shooting out of his arm but I wanted it on the bottom of the screen um, see this one that looks fine to me I like that Turtles in Time if you look on the top left You'll see Turtles in Time Konami, and there's the turtles. That's actually supposed to come down and be more centered so that the turtles are going around the entire um, video snap. So just little stuff like that. See, this one's great. This one's spot on. You see the wheel fades away so that you can see all the artwork. Um, and again, I'm not the creator, so my hat's off to, to the creators of all this stuff. I just take the stuff, combine it, modify it to my liking, boom. Um, 
But one one thing that I would say is uh, attract mode over hyperspin 100%. The reason why I don't like hyperspin, I had a hyperspin build on my um, on my PC in my living room. The controller setup, what a pain, what a pain. I don't want to run Joy to Key. I don't want to have to deal with rocket launcher, hyperspin, hyper HQ, Joy to Key, X Patter. I don't want to deal with all that. The best thing about a track mode is you can use those hyperspin themes. So if that's the look you like, you want that hyperspin look, this is giving you exactly that, but in a way more user-friendly interface. I mean, I have my controller set up so that let's go in, let's just go into Tapper. Let's just go into Tapper here. So we're inside uh, of Tapper. It's loading up uh, in any game that you that you load up. If I hold select and press up, I pause it. That's great. And the reason why I don't use a start button to pause on the arcade is that's my player one start. Um, so if I hold select and up, I'm back and running. If I hold select and press down, boom. Mini Nintendo style, my emulation station build style, that's how you get back to your menu, choose another game. Uh, very easy. If you wanted to set up your controller and you can do as many controllers as you want and it maintains your configuration, which is something that I, I like be, especially not so much for my arcade build because I'm just going to be using an arcade stick um, but I am doing an attract mode consoles build so it'll be the the same consoles as emulation station um, except way more artwork it's it's gonna look uh, it's gonna have the hyper spin look to it for sure I did do a hyper pie build on um, Windows uh, it's it's something that I've put on the back burner for now. I know there's other people working on it right now, and I mean people with w way more technical skills and, and they're better at this stuff than I am. Um, I'm just an amateur, man, uh, compared to most people. Um, but definitely go with a track mode. It's 32-bit or 64-bit um, for Windows. You you you'll never regret it. Definitely not regret it. You can get it for Linux. Uh, which you can run RetroPie on Linux if you really want to. Um, but the reason why I recommend this so much is look at that hyperspin look. And let's say I wanted to go, I have right now my Super Nintendo controller is configured. So let's say you're new, you got your controller plugged in, you're ready to go. So you press tab on your keyboard. Okay, This. let's say this is your first time setting up a controller. You're going to hit enter on controls, and then there you go. So if you want to go back a page, then you just hit go in here. So I have it as the escape button, my my A button on my controller. Um, and let's say I'm using a Sega Genesis controller and I want to use the C button. So I just go to I'd press enter on add input, press C button on my Genesis controller. Um, whichever button you want. If it you know if you want to use like a a thumb a thumb uh, trigger on on your PS3 or 360 controller, then you could do that, and you can do all your controls all set up here. No joy to key, no X patter, no messing around with all these profiles and bull crap. This is good to go. So, what I'm gonna do this build, like I said, is based on MAME. It has MAME as running all my arcade games. If I add Final Burn Alpha, it will be Final Burn Alpha, the actual program. Um, when I do my my console uh, build with a track mode, it will be the same as my emulation station build as far as running off of RetroArch. RetroArch is so convenient when you're running all these different systems on one platform. I just prefer to do my arcade games through MAME or through Final Burn Alpha. It's just easier for me and there's a lot more options available um, from what I've seen. Uh, but definitely if you're going to do a console build, go with RetroArch, man. It's so easy to use. And when I do the console build, I think what I'm going to do is do a how-to video. Um, I'll, I'll do a video for you guys showing you um, once I'm in wor a work in progress and then when I go to add a system I'll do a how to and show you guys how to get all that up and running. So uh, this is this is my arcade build um, in a track mode using hyperspin themes and every single game well it's got its own theme. So again guys really appreciate you watching please hit that like button subscribe to the channel I'll be making as many videos how to's showing you guys a whole bunch of stuff um, 
and hopefully you enjoy it and hopefully it's helpful. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.